new industry is really inspired by urban architecture, industrial engineering. We're really looking to a lot of very exciting South Florida artists to utilize these everyday construction materials in new and innovative ways. I was exploring the human figure. I was trying to simplify it in, in a way where I used three simple lines of different thicknesses to embody the human figure. My name is Norman Silva and I'm an artist. This is by far my largest exhibition. This piece is called Alone. These pieces of steel came from my backyard. So I cut them up, I added a little bit of a neck in here and I created a person, a human figure in the simplest way. Three lines, different thicknesses, different textures. The reason why it's called Alone is coming from that saying, being alone in a crowd. This particular person within the piece. If you notice, it has a little shinier head than the others, so it kind of stands out a little bit. Even though it is within all of the rest of the people in there, it feels alone. If you look around, you could start seeing different personalities in the other people within the piece. Like this couple, there's an older lady I like to say, there's a, another couple over here gossiping. So there's a crowd, a, a scene is happening within this particular little piece. My current series of sculptures are basically an outlet from my inner architect. I love the materials that I'm using right now, the wood, the concrete, the steel. There's definitely a tradition from modernism onwards of being very, very conscientious about the materials that we use in fine art. So this show really does that in a very beautiful and lyrical way. I am Taryn Muller Nickel, and I'm the chief curator here at the Frank C. Ortis Art Gallery and Exhibit Hall, Pembroke Pines. More rugged materials, such as weathered wood, have been placed in beautiful symmetrical formations, such as Norman Silva's. And then we have everyday materials, like concrete being used for bases. It definitely challenges what people expect to see from a contemporary fine art piece. I love admiring buildings and I see them as giant sculptures. I see them as pieces of artwork. You could look at some of the buildings downtown Miami that are incredible and you look at them and they could be in a smaller sense, could be put as sculptures in a gallery. The most exciting elements of the show is the heavy emphasis on three-dimensional pieces. This is a very sculpture-centric show, and each of these pieces will likely look very different according to the differing context that they're presented in. So in this gallery space in particular, we really emphasize lighting. So there are many different shadows that are cast. There are changes in depth as you view the works from differing angles. It's also a way that the artist releases control. It can form the work up to a point, but after the work leaves their studio, they're really placing a lot of trust in the curatorial team to showcase their work and tie it to an overarching idea in a very provocative way. The Frank is about two years old. We have a year-round open call to artists. We really do invite every single cultural producer to submit their work here to the Frank. We want to see what people are making. So regardless of their level of professionalism, whether they're just starting out or they're seasoned, lifelong artists who really have honed their practice, we encourage everyone to submit their portfolio to us and keep us abreast of what it is that they're working on. The way in which I create either comes from an idea at first that I sketch down or from something that I pick up and see something in it that inspires me to create something out of it. Walking down the street, we're on a sidewalk and we see cracks and imperfections in the concrete. Maybe after seeing an exhibition like this, we have more of an appreciation for these little details in our lives and we're able to see things slightly differently.